Hello everyone and welcome to Paper and Moose. It is mail day today where I open up treasure sent from all over the globe. I will be having a thrift store video coming up and a bins video coming up because I actually just got back from the bins and it was a pretty good trip. I talked to a variety of people there. I did not let the anxiety get the best of me though it was there and I found some neat stuff to me and one item that if it sells should be a pretty decent profit so be on the lookout for that video but i wanted to get the mail day video out first um things have been a little bit slow here we did have a winter storm again the weathermen just schools are closing <laughs> everything is being pre-treated on the roads and we had i don't know I mean, the snow fell down, the snow fell, it landed, and by the next morning, all gone. So, but you know, it's enough to want to stay home, hunker down, and try and get other work done. And there hasn't really been any auctions in my area. Thrift stores, we know I'm not a huge fan of thrift stores, really. I'd rather sit home and, and look at paper pretty much <laughs> and that is what I will be doing uh, once I wrap up this mail day video lots of paper sorting getting my paper organized so that I can work on junk journals so that I can bring some little ephemera bundles to my Etsy shop so that is what I have been working on and research of course let's just get to the mail so our first package comes from our friend Carol on Fredericksburg Virginia don't want to open it because you don't want to have bad luck <laughs> but it is an umbrella with a moose cool as a moose Canada and this is actually perfect because I need an umbrella for the life of me I cannot find the umbrella that I kept in my car I have no idea where I put it I probably cleaned out my car and put it somewhere and I have no clue so this will go right into my car and now I'll have one that's a really nice handle. And it has a moose on it. What could be better? And Carol also has sent us a three-dimensional Victorian dollhouse. Oh, wow. Man, I like to live in here. <laughs> little Pam, you're a little too big for this, but she would like to live in here too. Can I have this house built for real people size? <laughs> It even has a cloth and tub. I'm going right, that's the room I want to be in. The bat, the toilets, oh my gosh. The toilet seat even pops up. This is so cute. This would be really cute for a younger girl or for myself. Oh my gosh, the kitchen with the pantry and everything. This is so nice. I haven't seen this kind of pop-up book, but I do like it. If you had little dolls, paper dolls, this would be perfect for them. Well, thank you, Carol. That umbrella really helps me out. Now I have one and uh, I can, since I don't own a Victorian house, I can pretend that this one is mine. <laughs> Thanks again, Carol. Let's see, we have two packages left. This one is from our friend Lorraine out in Ocean Shores, Washington. So we've gone all the way to the other side of the States. Let's see what Lorraine writes. Renee, we enjoy your videos very much. Thank you for your efforts. Uh, we both love the history you share. I love sewing and my husband loves making wooden toys. Oh, fun. So we thought you might enjoy the small gift. I hope you understand that you provide all of us a much needed glimpse of real life, hard working and chasing your own dreams. Keep doing what you do best and ignore the naysayers. Thank you again, Lorraine and Robert. Well, thank you, Lorraine and Robert for those kind words. So yes, being a content creator on YouTube, you get the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> if people like you, they'll let you know. If they don't like you, they'll let you know, and they'll let other people know too. But uh, I think it's important to just you know keep being true to yourself and do what you love. And there are people that love what you love and they enjoy the videos, so you, you, know, you just keep making videos for them and making content that shows what it's really like out there. You know, it's not all glitz and glamour. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you go to a thrift store and you just come back with something amazing, whether it's to resell or for your own personal collection. And other times you go to a thrift store and you come back with nothing. <laughs> so it, it's a mixed bag, but 
um, you know, YouTube, making these videos, it, it is tough, especially when things are a little bit slow. And so that's when, you know, you really got to hunker down and just nose to the grindstone and do what you can do. Even if that's cutting up paper and ephemera and doing research that only 2000 people watch in a video. But if it's what you love, then it definitely is worth it. And with that rant, I'm excited to see. What is this? I don't know if there's a certain order. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. I wish this was life size. <laughs> Can you build me a real one? That is so cute. It's a little camper. The door opens up. Oh my gosh. And it says Pam, Yellowstone, or Bust on the back. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. And the door opens up and there's like a little stove. There's a little bed back there. This is so cute. I absolutely love the colors too. But wait, there's more. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's the vehicle. <laughs> this is great. Oh, wow. You are talented. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. Look at that. That even goes down the little back seat and then it attaches. This is so cute. Let's see, I don't want to break it. Oh my goodness. This is adorable. I love the colors. I love it all. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I need a real life size. I love these wheels. Let's take a moment to, to just really enjoy how wonderful this is. You have the tail lights, the headlights, the front. Oh my gosh. The wheels. You even have the little details here on the side. This is adorable. Little Pam, I know. And then this guy. I love that. That is so cute. Oh, wow. Uh, now if I could only go like this and poof, a real one. That'd be amazing. But this, this will do just fine. Oh, I love this. Well, thank you so much, Lorraine and Robert, for sending this to me. Robert, you are beyond talented. These are, this is great. I can't say enough about this. This is so cute. Ah, let me shrink myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Pam, I know you love it too. Oh, that is so nice. Well, thank, I don't even know what to say. I was not expecting that. I had no idea. And great job, great job. You need a channel to show you how you make these things. This is wonderful. I love it. Look at that. And you know what I could put in here? Bottle, I can even put like a little bottle brush tree. Oh my gosh. You can even put a little bottle brush tree in the back like I just went Christmas tree shopping. That is great. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Lorraine and Robert. Love the color. Love everything about it. I'll hop right in there and go to Yellowstone. I wish. <laughs> That is so cool. Thank you so much. You just never know what I'm going to open up. Maybe I should make my title. Someone sent me a car. <laughs> Someone sent me a trailer. <laughs> because you did. You did. That is, I love it. I love it. Last but not least, this is from Wilmington, Delaware. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Oh, man. I found this binder wide open, flapping in the wind on the middle of an intersection. What? You were the first, I thought, who would enjoy it and make a buck or two. Enjoy Virginia. Found it on an intersection. <laughs> oh my God. We go from my practical umbrella, my dream house in a Pampa book, my dream vehicle and camper, to finding a binder flapping in an intersection. All right, well this little label on the side says cigar. 
this might be. I'm I'm scared to open this. No. <laughs> what in the world? How does this happen to you people? <laughs> It's a whole binder of cigar labels. Did you really find this in the intersection? I can't believe that. Look at that one. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. Abe Martin. Oh my gosh. This is, un I, I can't, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I cannot believe you found this in the intersection. What happened? <laughs> I'm, Thank goodness you stopped and like picked it up before a truck ran over it or rain got to it. I mean, some of these look a bit newer, but still, we even have some Matchbox in there. King Edward. Now these look a little bit older. This is crazy. Am I gonna get an email about that was my <laughs> that was my cigar binder that you found? Look at these, unbelievable! We have old advertisements. What a crazy mail day this has been! I mean, I, I unbelievable. And how does one lose this? <laughs> there, have any of you ever like lost something out of your car? Like do you, have you set something on, I mean I know we do that with like beverages, you sit it on top as you're trying to get in. I have seen, I have bought this one before. I've gotten this one at um, a flea markets, a whole stack of them. Wow. We have Irvin, Sun Made, Crazy, Fall Virginia. I, th I think that this, this might, this is a first. It wasn't out for free. It was in an intersection and you saved it. <laughs> intersection trash picking. This isn't even a trash. Lost intersection things. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> These are going to be great to go through and just see the different years, ages, and wow. Never have I ever. I'm going to be looking at intersections more often now. Oh my goodness. What a mail day this has been. It's been a great mail day. Umbrella, Victorian dollhouse, my own camper, and a cigar label, a cigar band label binder found in an intersection. Ha! Huh. The things you all find or make and send to me, it really does leave me speechless every single time because it's, it's so amazing. All these things that are out there that are found, created, saved, and uh, what you all feel so kindly to share with me. I'm gonna go hop in my camper and go for a drive now. <laughs> oh boy, well thank you so much. And uh, I hope that you all, if you're out there and you're trying to find that treasure, maybe you'll find it at an intersection. Maybe you'll find it as you're traveling or maybe you'll find it on a rainy day. <laughs> wow, this is a great mail day. I'm just, <sighs> sometimes mail just leaves you speechless. <laughs> even if it's just about the little things, which sometimes actually are the best things. So thank you so much. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for, like I said, we have a bins video, a thrift video. I'm not promising anything fancy with that thrift store video, but I went out there, showed you what's out there and what I did find. I did find one pretty neat, well neat to me item that I was surprised it was on the rack. Hint, hint. And uh, maybe an auction coming up, maybe a flea market. You just have to wait and see. Thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for all of these treasures. Stay tuned for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.